Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the listening page of this last unit. Nine. Intentions of the speakers. Maybe you remember in the word of intention. While we were studying the future tense, we talked about intention. Niet. Here are some photos. <clears throat> Based on their body language. Based on their gestures. Uh, what kind of... What feeling can you see in these photos here and photo C as you can see here there's a clerk and the customer and there are some desks here and uh, their hand gestures show us something tell us something and also here touching on the back and this kind of hand these things tell us, describe something. And here on this page, you will sometimes have to identify the intentions of the speakers, like persuade or to warn or to inform. Listen for phrases such as, I think you should be careful to, I think you should be careful to, I'm going to tell you, that give you a clue to the speaker's intention, of course. For example, <coughs> as I think you should, I think you should. That's a kind of advice, huh? Recommendation or be careful. So this is a type of warning. I'm going to tell you about information. Here are some words to teach us here. Apologize. To say sorry. To challenge. You know that. Meydan okumak. To comfort. Here, for example. <coughs> sorry. This guy is trying to comfort him. Because the facial expression of this guy tells us he is sad. To complain, şikayet etmek. To describe, to encourage, cesaretlendirmek. To inquire, learn about. Öğrenmek, araştırmak. To entertain, gene eğlenmek, eğlendirme amaçlı bir konuşma mı? To inform, bilgilendirme amaçlı mı? Persuade. İkna mı var söz konusu olan konuşmacının niyeti? To recommend, dedik ki give advice. To tell a story, evet, narrative mi? To thank, to warn, to welcome. Here are the words. Inquire, learn about, persuade, convince. They are synonyms. Encourage, challenge, recommend. recommend. And... Read these word, uh, sentences. What is the intention in each sentence? Be careful not to touch the cooker. It's hot. So this can be warning. Yeah? Konuşmacının amacı burada uyarmak. This is ridiculous. Why is there such a long delay? Evet bir memnuniyetsizlik söylüyoruz. Niye bu kadar uzun bir retard diyor? Delay, gecikme var. O zaman to complain. I'd go and see this film if I were you. Evet, Alp 2'de bunu görmüştük. If, if'lerin ikinci e, kullanımı. Ben senin yerinde olsam öyle yapmazdım. İfadeleri tavsiye için de kullanılıyordu. To recommend. Good morning, let me show you to your table. Evet, bir karşılama söz konusu. I'd like some information about opening times. İstiyorum diyor, biraz bilgi istiyorum. O zaman inquire, öğrenmek istiyor. Don't worry, everything will be fine to comfort. And for these pictures, yes. Uh, can you match these intentions to these pictures? Here is complain. And here is comfort. And picture C tells us to welcome. Okay. And now, listen and identify the intentions of the speakers. I'm not going to stop. You are going to listen to all six speakers. And then I will show the key. Listen carefully. Lesson 9C, Exercise 3. 1. It was really kind of you to lend me your car. I'm really grateful. 
too. Please come to the film with me. You'll really enjoy it, I'm sure. And I don't want to go on my own. Three. This match is going to be tough. The other team are really strong, but I think you can win if you really want to. Four. I'm sorry, but this soup is cold. Could you change it, please? Five. I'm sorry to hear that you failed your driving test. I know you're upset, but you only made one little mistake, and I'm sure you'll pass next time. Six. It's great to see so many of you here today for the concert. Thank you very much for coming. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, of course, some words, some phrases tell us the intention, the intention of the speaker in each listening. So here is the key. B C B C A B. To thank, to persuade, to encourage. complain, to comfort and to welcome. And now, here are some more questions. Totally there, totally five. And in each speaker, in each uh, listening part, you are going to decide what the main of the speaker, the scientist main, the boy's main aim, scientist main aim, the doctor's main aim, the speaker's main aim, and the head teacher's main aim. Aim is purpose. Amaç. Evet, amacı ne? Ne amaçlı bir konuşma yapıyor her biri? After each listening, I will stop. Please listen to them carefully. Lesson 9C, exercises 4 and 5. One. We are all aware of the dangers of being overweight and how hard it can be to lose weight. This new health drink, which my company has invented, can help do just that. It's better than other drinks because it has a new special formula that gives you all the vitamins you need without extra calories. I won't give you all the technical details here, but it has been thoroughly tested and is very effective. So, rather than persist with other products, I recommend that you try this new one. I don't think you will be disappointed. You guys may be Scientific advance demiş. Advance means improvement. Advance. Improvement. Gelişme. İlerleme. Ya da yeni bir ürün denemeleri için insanları ikna etmeye çalışıyor. Next one. Two. I sold my old motorbike last month and got this new one. Well, it isn't new actually, it's second hand. I couldn't afford a new one, but it's only a couple of years old and it's as good as new, really. There's hardly a scratch on it. I was lucky to get it at such a good price. It didn't cost much more than what I got for my old motorbike. I'd get one if I were you, but there aren't many around and you're unlikely to get such a good deal. But it's really worth trying. Yeah, go for it. Alright, çocuk bu konuşmayı neden yapıyor? Compare his new motorbike with his previous one. Öyle mi? Compare, comparison. Try to persuade someone to buy a second-hand motorbike or complain that he can't afford a brand new motorbike. Şikayet mi diyor? Peki. Next speaker. Three. Your high blood pressure is due to a buildup of cholesterol in your arteries. This has probably been caused by eating too many fatty foods and smoking. I can certainly prescribe some drugs that will help to bring down the high cholesterol, 
But initially, I'd like you to make some changes to your diet and increase your level of exercise. Try to avoid eating fatty foods such as cheese, butter, cakes, and so on. Try also to exercise regularly, ideally three times a week for 20 minutes or half an hour. Come back to me in three months. If the level is still high, we will consider a course of treatment at that point. Yeah, what is the aim of the doctor? Encourage the patient to live a healthier lifestyle? Or warn the patient of the dangers of eating too much? Or just a recommend of a course of treatment? Next one. Four. I came up with the idea for this about five years ago, but only built it in the past 12 months. It's circular with handles on each side. It's battery powered, rechargeable batteries, of course. They are inserted just here. It's made of steel and plastic, and it allows you to browse the internet as well as record film. So it's a computer combined with a camcorder. I've met quite a few people who might be interested in investing in it, because it'll take a lot of money, of course, to develop and produce. But I haven't heard back from them which is a bit worrying because I need money to start advertising it. Ha, burada konuşmacının kullandığı ifadeler 9A'da e, describe e, an object ifadeleri. İşte şeklinden bahsediyor, parçalarından, kısımlarından bahsediyor. Hangisi o halde? And the last speaker. Five. You'll be delighted to hear that the new minibus which the school purchased has finally arrived. It runs on biofuel, which is sourced from plants, so it is very environmentally friendly. It'll allow the school's sports team to get to and from matches quickly and easily. We were able to purchase the minibus thanks to the money we made at the Christmas fair. We are very grateful to all the people who donated unwanted items for the stalls and who made all those delicious cakes and biscuits. Without you, we wouldn't have this wonderful new bus. I'm sure the bus will be in high demand from the word go. Evet, müdürün, head teacher'ın amacı da persuade me, inform people or thank people. Tabii burada bolca <gülüyor> key phrase var aslında yakalamanız yakalamanız beklenen. Let's check the answers. C for the for the first one, persuade people to, to try a new product. For the second one, try to persuade someone to buy a second hand motorbike. And for the third speaker, the answer is A. Encourage the patient. Evet şurada yine mesela course of treatment'ı duyduk. Eğer bunlar işe yaramazsa bir Belki belli bir ayın sürenin sonunda gibi bunu duyduk yoksa ya da seçeneklerdeki kelimeleri duyabiliyor duymuş olabilirsiniz mesela invent invention ya da şurada invest ifadelerini duyduk ama amacının bu olduğunu mu gösterir hayır burada bir describe durumu vardı 9A'da öğrettiği gibi ve sonuncuda da grateful ifadesi bizi yine minnettar ifadesi bizi şeye götürüyor teşekkür ettiğini raise money para toplanmış işte kermes yapılmış okulda bunun için bir teşekkür konuşması olduğunu gösteriyor and these words not actually these collocations are from the listening part can you match them a word from A and another word from B lose lose what lose weight yes Get a good deal. İyi bir anlaşma kaptım, aldım. Prescribe, belki bu yeni olabilir. Prescribe drugs. Reçete etmek, reçete yazmak. İlaçları reçete yazdım. Come up with an idea. Fikrim geldi. Bir fikri olmak. Browse the internet. Yeah, maybe you can recognize this word to browse if you use your computer or laptop in English. Yeah, browse, search the internet, and run on biofuel, plant-based diyordu yine. Um, i̇le çalışmak ne işte? Biyo yakıt ile çalışmak. İşte benzinle, mazotla çalışır dediğimiz gibi. Run on biofuel. These are the collocations. Not down, 
please. Not them down, please. Evet, her bir burada bir ödevlendirme var. Ee, diyor ki, şimdi her e, niyeti anlayabilmek için belli ipuçları ver elbette. Persuade için harika olacak, o da geliyor bak, bence çok keyif alacaksın. Ya da işte bir suggestion sözcüğü, why don't you? Ya da demiş ki ki de, teşekkür etmek için. I really enjoyed, I hope to see it. it was so kind, çok kibarcaydı. Hani minnettarlığını göstermek için. Ya da bilgilendirmek için şunu yapacağım, bunu yapacağım bir future tense durumu gibi. Ya da işte thank için duyduk burada. Beşe C demiştik. Um, grateful ifadesi. Şurada describe da 9A'da gösterdiği tanımlar işte bir ürünü bir nesneyi anlatmak için kullandığı ifadeleri kullanmıştı. Şeklinden kısımlarından bahsederek. Gibi yani biraz keyword biraz vocab based aslında. Burada niyeti yakalamamız biraz e, kelime bilgimize dayanan e, bir yol tamamen buna dayanıyor. Şimdi hemen bu sayfadan workbook'a geçelim. Workbook'taki e, listening sayfalarına bakalım. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Complete the sentences with the verbs below. Remember to use the Correct form of the verb. Huh. Bize uygun halinde istiyor. Browse. Browse internet. Come up with an idea. Get. Get a good deal. Lose weight. Prescribe drugs and run on biofuel diyordu. O zaman az önce öğrendiğimiz kelimeleri hemen yerleştirtiyor bize. Tabi correct form dedi. Tense göre çekimi. He lost. 10 kilo kaybetti. Gain weight diyordu. O halde bunu belki yazabiliriz. Bu bir, bir yerlerde geçmişti hazırlık sınıfında. Gain weight, lose weight. Bizim almak vermek dediğimiz orada kazanmak ve kaybetmek. Sonra diyor ki Yesterday dediği için come up with an idea olmuş. Came up with an idea. My mom Has got a new car and geniş zaman demiş. Yeni bir arabası var ve biofuel'de. İşte çevre dostu. Bio yakıtla çalışıyor. Browse the internet. Search. Surf ya da. <gülüyor> Always gets a good deal. Evet iyi bir pa şey pazarlık yapar. İyi bir fiyat kapar. And last month dediği için de pastens yapmış. Başarım için bana reçete etti. Bazı ilaçları reçete etti. And next part, complete the definitions. Evet, bu intentionları gördüğümüz, 9C Students Book'ta gördüğümüz intentionları tanımlamış burada. Let's check them. Uh, to, if you warn somebody about something, you tell them about a danger. Uyarı varsa bir ilk e, tehlikeden bahsediyordur. If you... Complain to somebody about something you tell them why you're unhappy. Evet, bir memnuniyetsizlik varsa. Again, if you apologize for something, you say that you're sorry. You say sorry demiştik. Inquire için, you ask questions about it. Öğrenmek demiştik. And recommend something. Why it is good. Give advice dedik beş için. Altı. Uh, if you... Encourage somebody to do something, you make them feel more confident. Evet, gaza getirmek burada, cesaretlendirmek, teşvik etmek. And seven, if you welcome somebody or something, you say you're happy about their arrival. Hoş geldin ifadesini welcome olarak biliyorsunuz. Burada karşılamak, fiilleşmiş. And eight, if you inform somebody about something, you tell them facts. Information'ın kökü yine bilgilendirme söz konusu. If you challenge somebody, you invite them to compete with you. Yarışma. Yani meydan okuma. Competition'dan gelmiş gene. Şurada compete, competition, challenge. Meydan okuma dedik. 11. Uh, no, 10. If you comfort somebody, you try to make them feel better when they are sad. Evet. Teselli etme, rahatlatma dediğimiz. And 11. If you persuade somebody to do something, you say things which make them want to do it gazlama ve if you entertain somebody you keep them amused and interested eğlendirmek dedik 
and now listening part and the same strategy as in the students book read the listening strategy then listen to six speakers what are their intentions complete the sentences with the ing form of the verbs from exercise two yeah you will choose from this list but put them ing çünkü yapıyor ediyor şimdiki zamana göre çekimlememiz istendiği için ing koyduruyor fiillerin sonuna fiiller niyetleri söylüyor Dinleyelim bakalım. I will not stop. At the end I will show the key. Exercise 3. 1. As you go walking in the mountains today, be very careful. The weather forecast isn't good, and if you don't know this area well, it's very easy to get lost. You must complete your walk before it gets dark. It's really dangerous to be in the mountains at night. 2. I know, I know. It's 8 o'clock. I said I'd be here at 7. I'm so sorry. I left home late and then the bus was full and I had to wait for the next one. And I couldn't call you because I left my phone at home. I'm really sorry. 3. Oh, hello. I was just wondering, I don't know if you can help me, but do you know what time the museum closes? I mean the Museum of Modern Art in the city centre. Only this is our last day here and I don't want to miss it. Is it open in the evening? 4. I heard about your accident. You poor thing. It must hurt a lot. I broke my ankle once and it was so painful. And it means you can't go skiing next week. Oh, how annoying. Look, if there's anything I can do, tell me. I could come over and keep you company if you want. We could watch a DVD together or something. Five. Don't be nervous about the final. You're a great tennis player. Just play your natural game and you'll be fine. And remember to enjoy it too. We're already proud of you, win or lose. So just relax and I'm sure you'll do really well. 6. No, I'm afraid everything is not OK. For a start, I ordered chicken. This isn't chicken. I'm not sure what it is, but it isn't chicken. Also, this water tastes funny. Or maybe the glass isn't clean. Anyway, I can't drink it. For a five-star hotel restaurant, this really isn't good enough. So, here is the key for you. Warning, apologizing, inquiring, comforting, encouraging, and complaining. And the last part. Yeah, the same as in the student's book, five speakers and circle the correct answers. What are their aims? Amaçları dedik, speakers main aim. Yeah. I will not stop after each speaker again. Listen to them carefully and choose the correct one. Welcome, complain, inquire. Inform, recommend, apologize. Pursue, challenge, thank, describe, warn, challenge, or recommend, inform, warn. Exercise 4 1. Good evening, everybody, and thank you for coming to our special event at this amazing castle. It's wonderful to see so many people here for the launch of our new car, the Model TX3. Later, we'll give you lots of information about the vehicle and you'll have the chance to speak to our engineers and ask questions. But for now, just relax, get a drink and enjoy this spectacular venue for a while. 2. I've had a look at your laptop, but I'm afraid it's bad news. If you look here, you can see where the water has damaged the inside of the laptop. You can't repair damage like that, I'm afraid. You can replace all of these parts, but that will cost a lot of money. 
my advice would be that you just buy a new laptop. I'm sorry, but there's nothing else I can suggest. Mm -hmm. Three. This new type of battery is going to make it far quicker and cheaper for people to recharge their smartphones. The technology works, and it was discovered right here in our laboratories. All we need to do is find enough funding to develop our product. And that's where you come in. You can help us raise the five million dollars we need to turn this brilliant idea into reality. We believe we're offering you a fantastic opportunity because these new batteries really are an improvement on what is available today. Four. So this is a little machine I made at home. As you can see, it's got wheels like a little car, and it is powered by one small battery. I tested it three times, and my best distance was eight meters and twenty centimeters. Now this is what you have to do. In your teams, you have to design and build a machine that is powered by the same type of battery as my machine. How far can it travel? Can it beat my distance of eight meters twenty? That's your mission. Good luck. Five. This is the new 3D television with ultra high definition and surround sound. It's a smart TV. Which means it has internet access, so you can stream films and TV programs straight from the web. You can also use it for browsing the internet. Although personally, I find it much more difficult to use than a normal computer or even a smartphone. But for watching films and TV, it really is amazing. I'm not a fan of 3D myself, but the ultra high definition is spectacular. And considering it's the most advanced TV on the market, the remote control is amazingly simple to use. Yeah, it wasn't so hard, I think. I'm sure you answered all of them. And here comes the key. Hey, welcome people to a special event. B. Recommend buying a new laptop. C. Persuade people to invest money. Invest. Yatırım yapmak. And four. Warn the students be careful. No. <laughs> Sorry. Challenge our students. Evet benden daha mı iyi yapabileceksiniz diye. Challenge. And five. B. Inform the viewers about a new type of TV. That's the end of the listening parts. See you on the reading parts. Bye-bye.